Start out with a slip knot and then chain two. Because we're working in half double crochets, we need to yarn over first and then insert our hook into the first chain that we just did. Now pull up a loop, then yarn over and go through one loop. This is the chain part. Yarn over again and go through all three loops on the hook and this is our first half double crochet. Now yarn over and go back into the stitch you just made and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through one. Yarn over and go through the last three loops on the hook. Yarn over again and go through the stitch you just made. And it's really important that you get both loops here. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through one. And yarn over and go through all three loops. And you just continue repeating these two steps until you have the length that you want. At the end you will just turn your work and chain two stitches and then you're ready for whatever you want on row two. And that's it guys, here's your foundation stitches using half double crochets. Let's move on to doing those in double crochets. Start out with a slip knot and then chain two. Because we're working with double crochets, we will yarn over and insert our hook into the first stitch we made. Now pull up a loop, yarn over and go through one loop. This is the chain part. Yarn over and go through two loops and yarn over again and go through the last two loops. And this is our double crochet. Yarn over and go back into the stitch you just made. Remember to get both loops. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through one loop. This is the chain part. And yarn over, go through two loops and one more time. That was our double crochet. So you just repeat these two steps until you have the length that you want. And just as before, when you get to the end, you will turn your work and chain three stitches if you want to do double crochets or whatever you plan to do on your row two. And that's it guys, here's your foundation stitches using double crochets.